SB19 is officially back and so am I. Bestie, I know you missed me. I know you did and I missed you too. That is why today I am sitting here in front of you because I am about to react to a brand new song and music video by SB19. But this time around, they're not alone because this is a collaboration with Ian Asher and Terry Zong. Since yesterday, I've been getting a bunch of messages about this song and music video and people asking me to react to it. So your wishes are my command. My only request though, is that if you enjoyed this, go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe to the channel and follow me on social media. And that's enough of me talking. Let me get my coffee and get ready for their reaction. Let's go. All right, and away we go. This is Moonlight by SB19. And Ian Asher and Terry Zonk. Sorry, I don't want to let them out. <laughs> It's in the moment when your face is next to mine and we don't show it, but we're thinking of the time. So put it in motion. Wow, choreography come through, baby Josh. <laughs> Wow, Pablo is giving. I love the vibes here. Ooh, okay, let's talk about this. I know guys, I know I have to stop from time to time because of course, copyright and whatever, you know, but I also want to pass some comments. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you guys. When the music video started, right? And just based on the thumbnail and everything that I saw online, you know, people reposting like screenshots of the music video, I thought this is going to be kind of like K-pop inspired because that's kind of like the vibe that it was giving. But just within this couple of seconds within the song, it's actually giving me more of a summery vibe, more of a, um, you know, kind of like, let's go to the beach and like play music by the pool type of thing. So I feel like SB19 here is going with the summer anthem, which is the perfect thing because it's hot in the Philippines, okay? It's officially summer here. We are melting. We are no longer in the Philippines. This is a rotisserie chart. The aesthetics of the music video seems to be super minimalistic. The boys are wearing quite literally the same outfits, just different glasses. Uh, the backdrop, it almost looks like a Mr. Beast video, if you know what I'm saying, like when he does like those crazy challenges, which I like because it allows us to focus on two things that are really important here, which are the song, the choreography, and of course, the boys. So that's the third most important, right? <laughs> Let's keep watching. Ken, the eyes, the eyes of Ken. Oh, come on, Stell. Give us the vocals. Justin. Wow, wait, I, I'm trying to find a, a moment to pause the music video so that I can give my comments, but the song is so catchy that it just keeps going and I can't really find a place. So it's fine. I'll pause it here and then I'll go back a couple of seconds so we can catch up on that. But I just want to say, you know, I thought if you have watched my previous reactions to SP19, usually they like to build up the momentum when it comes to the music, even the concepts for the music videos, they just become more and more and more intricate. I feel like they are kind of, separating themselves from that here and they're just going with a very catchy tune from beginning to end i mean i'm just assuming because i'm quite literally halfway through the song as of right now but most of the attention here you can tell that it's really just about the music the choreography maybe like the symmetry in this music video which seems to be like really really spot on and really well thought out so props to the director and the entire team behind this so it's kind of a different direction for sp19 if you think of other music videos whether it's like what where you add you name it it is radically different so far we are mostly seeing the voice of sp19 so i'm not sure at what point in the song the collaborators will come in but let's stay tuned for that and the last thing that i wanted to mention about 
the vibe of the track is that, you know, as I said, it sounds summery. It sounds fresh. This would have been so perfect for like Coachella and festival season in the United States and all over the world. So I feel like this is kind of a marketing strategy for the boys to appeal to other markets, you know, to perhaps get invited to certain festivals, to get their foot on certain doors. I think it's a great thing for them to try. Okay, enough of Louis talking. Let's go back to the reaction. I'm guessing these are the collaborators on the TV. See the symmetry that I was telling you about. It's all about the visuals. It's not really so much about the storytelling here or the intricate concepts. It's visual appeal with this music video. <laughs> Come on, Justin. Anganda. <laughs> can we take a moment? Can we just appreciate like Philip's eyes for a moment? Like, can look at the eyes. Like, please, somebody help me. I don't know if these are lenses or not, but the point is that he looks so damn good with them. Like. Again, look at this. Symmetry. Symmetry in the music video, right? It's all about the visuals. He knows he ha he's so pretty. He knows it. Oh. Come on, Pablo. F it up. Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. So let's talk about this. I just want to check if there's anything else coming up. Um, titles and final thanks. Okay. Perfect summer song. Perfect summer anthem. I'm so happy to be... Uh, I'm so happy to see SB19 going this route because I think that for, for so long they have been showing us what they're capable of in terms of storytelling, in terms of music video production, in terms of um, coming up with intricate concepts, songs in Tagalog, songs in English. Sometimes it's a mix of all of it, their performance. So I think that it is time for them to just try something new. And I feel like going in this kind of like summery vibe, Coachella vibes, um, electronic dance music it's just a perfect approach because in other countries other Asian countries who have adopted this um, this kind of approach as well to their music they have a lot of them have ended up being successful abroad which I think is part of SB19's strategy at this point they have already conquered the market here in the Philippines at this point they are trying to expand to grow to show their talent to the rest of the world one feature that I will be so down to see in the future, it will be SB19 featuring Beanie. Oh, can we talk about Beanie? Beanie has also been killing it lately on the streaming platforms, internationally, here in the Philippines, they have a major hit as well. So I think we should get a collaboration from them. Hopefully sometime in the future, the management companies can get it together and make it happen. But that's maybe a topic for a different video. Let me know you guys, how do you feel about Moonlight in the comment section down below? Do you like the song, the music video? Do you agree with my comments and feedback? I will be reading you down below. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, like this, and what else? Follow me on social media. You know what to do, bestie, okay? I missed you so much. I really did from the bottom of my heart and I hope you miss me too. I will see you very soon. So don't be a stranger. Bye now. <laughs>